the principal for the serving the CEC, vice principal for the other feeding of my scheme, beloved teachers and all my dear friends. It is with the greatest pleasure we the students of AB is conducting this assembly. Thing for this assembly is care for others. A candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. Caring others is one of the best we can do even through little days. We can be not changers. So on behalf of our assembly, let me welcome you all to this assembly. Let's start our day by the seeking blessing from our Almighty God with a prayer. So I welcome Lakshmi Nanda for the prayer song. Thank you, Lakshmi. A kind, a caring word is like spring day. Now I invite Jacob Jones to share his views on the importance of reading and Matthews B. Matthews to speak about our environment. Respect the principle for Stalin Augustine. Teachers, parents and my dear friends, a warm good morning to one and all. Why is reading important? Or precisely, why is reading important for students? I would like to quote American journalist Margaret Fuller here. Today a reader, tomorrow a leader, she said. This little statement drives on the importance of reading in a student's life. You might wonder why leadership is connected with reading. Education is not limited to school and textbook. The world outside is wider. Children who read widely are exposed to a rich world of ideas. This helps them assimilate the world around them in a more meaningful way. That's how true readers are born. One of the main problems our generation faces is lack of interest in written word. Our generation is obsessed with screen, mobile phone, tablets, television sets and computers. While these media pass on information and entertainment, they don't have the charm and utility of reading books. Each good book is a treasure trove for children. Books take you to unknown experiences and world that classrooms cannot offer. As children, we must make sure we pick up the right book. We must seek the help of our parents and teachers in guiding us to write books. And we should experience the pressure of curling in the bed with a favorite book. I am sure you will love that experience. And I would like to wind up by quoting French philosopher Voltaire. Let us read, let us dance. These two amusements will never do any harm to the world. Thank you and have a nice day. Good morning to one and all present here. Respected fathers, teachers, parents and all my dear friends. The topic of my species, environment. Environment is the surrounding in which we live. It is the source of our life. Our whole life is dependent on environment. It directs our life and determines the proper growth and development. Good or bad quality of social life depends on the quality of the natural environment. The need of human beings for food, water, shelter and other things depend on the natural environment. Human society is playing a vital role in degenerating the natural environment which in turn negatively affects the whole ecosystem. All the human actions have brought a big change which resulted in many environmental problems. Some of the environmental problems are rapid growth in the world population, deteriorating natural resources, diminishing forests and wetlands, erosion of soil and coral reefs, depleting underground water and regular shortage of fresh drinking water. Some other issues are loss of biodiversity, rapid extinction of some important animal species, collapse of fisheries, rising air and water pollution, rise in the atmospheric temperature, thinning of ozone layer, and spoiling rivers and seas. Human society is embedded in an environment. We must not forget that the human being is first and foremost an animal sharing living space with other animal species in an environment. It is our responsibility to save our environment and make the possibility of healthy and happy life. Thank you. 
and to Jacob and Matthews. In musical performance, a solo of set piece or a section of a piece that is played or sung by a single performer. Now I welcome Audi for the solo. Ah uh. 
There was a young boy who used to come for regular football practice but always played in the reserve bench and never made it to the football first eleven. While he was practicing, his father used to sit at the far end waiting for him. The matches had started and for four days he didn't show up. He was not selected for practice match or quarter or semi-finals. All of a sudden he showed up for the finals. He went to the coach and said, Coach, you have always kept me in the reserve, but today let me play. The coach said, Son, I am sorry, I can't let you. There are better players than you and besides, it is the final. I can't take a chance. The boy pleaded, Coach, I promise I will not let you down. I beg you, please let me play. The coach had never seen before this boy begging like this. Coach said, OK son, go, play. But remember, I am going against my better judgment. Don't let me down. The game started and the boy played like a house on fire. Every time he got the ball, he shot a goal. Needless to say, he was the best player and the star of the game. His team had a spectacular win. When the game finished, the coach went up to him and asked, I have never seen you playing like this. What happened? How did you play so well? The boy said, Coach, my father is watching me today. The coach looked around for the boy's father but couldn't find. Immediately, the boy said to coach, There is something I never told you. My father was blind. Just four days ago, he died. Today is the first day he is watching me from above. Dear friends, real motivation is a sense of achievement. It is a responsibility and belief. Motivation should come from within, within each one of us. Thank you. Have a nice day. God bless you all. Thank you, Father, for your valuable message. The class teacher is the one teacher among the group of teachers who involved with the class and was the main responsibility of the class and encouraged the social development of the students. So I welcome our class teacher, Father Vakichan, for his valuable message. Respected principal, teachers, and my dear students, is there anyone who doesn't wish to attain success in life? Nobody. Everyone dreams of becoming successful in good or evil. Due to wrong guidance and influence, some become antisocial, thieves, killers, or terrorists. Even they want success in life. Leaving them aside, let's think of success in its positive sense. I have no doubt to say that motivation and hard work are the only two reasons behind the success of each and every person. Motivation can be from inside or from outside. In most cases, internal motivation works better than external motivation. Internal motivation is a strong desire within a person to attain success. If one has taken a strong decision, no one can distract him or deviate him from his path. 
one gets internal motivation due to many reasons. It can be poverty, lack of money, the economic backwardness he is subjected to, or the economic forwardness of his relatives. A thought to escape from this situation prompts him to study better and to overcome all financial backwardness and to attain success. The second type of motivation is external. One may get it from the class of a resource person, the incidents narrated by his teachers, parents or elders, a video seen by him or the advice he gets from his elders, friends or somebody else. But this motivation should be renewed from time to time, otherwise it will fail. There are thousands of people who were born in economically backward families but rose to high positions. Only one's ambition and the aim in life can lead him to work hard. Even physically challenged people can attain success if they have a strong will. We have heard the saying, where there is a will, there is a way. If we have set our goals, nothing can stop us from attaining the goal. Dear students, teachers and parents can only motivate you. You yourself should set your goals and take a strong decision to attain them. So my dear students, with a strong mind, try your level best to set your goals as early as possible and always dream of attaining that goal. Then success is yours. Wishing you a bright future, I conclude my words. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Father. Let us relax our mind as Lakshmi and Devananda are here with an elegant performance. Thank you, friends. Now we have reached the end of today's assembly. Let me thank each and every one of you for your support. I express my sincere gratitude to all my dear teachers and fellow students who worked hard to make this assembly successful. I hope you all will lead a life loving and caring one another. Thank you. Now we are going to wind up our program. Let me invite Anna Marin Joni for the school anthem. Thank you.